averaging 15 points per game. But the thing I really enjoy out of him is the hard work and pulling down eight boards per game. 17 per game. Last year, there was no real commitment on the defensive end for him. Matumbo missed their last six since hitting their first two. Boy, good thing we don't do a 48-minute projection on that, huh? <laughs> Sixer perimeter defense airtight, finally lifting and hitting the three is Robinson. Pretty six minutes of action. Robinson, he's got Barry. They're evenly matched height wise, both at 6 5. Yet another stuff for Ben. Allen's looking for a shot too often here. He's five for 16, and Detroit's making a comeback as they. Jerry Stackhouse with the basketball, being very unselfish this year, gives it up to Robinson. Two. He's got six. The Sixers' first field goal in the last three and a half minutes. Robinson for three, and he drilled that one. So killing with a 7 2 to Kembe Matumbo. The key thinking three. Five to shoot for the Sixers, and they turn it over. Stackhouse runs it up against Iverson with under a half minute to play. But if you do that, you might negate a final possession. Here's Robinson straight to the floor. Robinson has been a guiding light for Detroit, especially when their offense was struggling early. Goes at it with Coleman. Free throw attempted tonight. Very good. In that 12 point advantage in half. And now they stiffen up on D. Robinson. He has been they got, and then the new guys with Cliff Robinson and John Perry becoming the oldest in NBA history to hit for 50. Robinson. Rebrancha over Matumbo. Shot pretty consistent. He's got 11 and 11 boards. Rebrancha again diving into space. Lane opened right up for him. Robin hitting all seven of his free throws. Well, early on. I think that, that certainly does help the starters. After clawing out of that 0-5 hole to begin the year, give and go, Barry and Robinson, 24. Now Matumbo locks on to Robinson. Clifford beats him anyway. This to make it a two-point game. This is important because it makes it a one-possession three-point game. Unloaded for the final four seconds. So the 76ers will win this one, and in doing so, peak above the 500 mark.